I'm headed out from the Ronald W. Casper Wilderness Park on Ortega Highway in the Cleveland National Forest in Orange County. And I'm gonna jog out to uh, the San Juan Hot Springs, you know, get a few pictures, some video, and then come back before it gets too hot, hopefully. This is some sort of wild squash. Uh, I don't actually know the name. I have uh, known it in the past, or known it in the past, sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, pretty cool. I don't think they are edible, yeah. FYI. But yeah, anyway, put on the trail. We have a deer. It is a... Uh, right there. And what I may try to do is, uh, it's moving actually on its own. Cool, I was gonna try to scare it, but you know, I think it just kind of calmed down and walked away. This right here is water flowing from the cold springs. Um, my plan is to refill here and then go up to the hot springs, which are just a little further up the trail. And then I'm definitely gonna come back here and refill. Uh, refill more. In the future, I want to check out the Cold Springs Canyon up that way. I've heard that there may be some warm springs. Uh, not as hot as the San Juan hot springs, but uh, yeah, it might be neat to look at. All right, uh, here's one of the San Juan hot springs pools. And there's another for you. It's actually quite a few here. Um, maybe like five or six. I don't really quite recall, but... Yeah, here's another one. Uh, I remember this one, I think, used to be a little higher. But uh, anyways, there it is. So that's three of them for you. And I think there are two more. If I remember correctly, over here. Yeah, so this one is pretty overgrown. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this one's definitely murky, but... Anyways, the reason I'm actually here is to get pictures for a Hot Springs Hikes book I'm writing. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll tell you all about some of the history. All right, I'm going to try to do this with at least one of the pools behind me. But yeah, so I did a little bit of reading uh, since the last time I was here on this area. And there's not a whole, whole ton, but you know, enough more than some springs. Apparently, the Native Americans here actually used the hot springs to make these tennis scows or uh, sweat lodges, you know. And I think uh, late 1800s to early 1900s, uh, this spot started to become an area where you know, campers, uh, you know, tourists would visit uh, and whatnot. And I think that led to a lot of development in the area until, you know, maybe early 1900s. I think at some point it got shut down, maybe for health risks or something. I can't quite recall what I was reading, but it remained sort of vacant until the, you know, 60s or 70s or so when a bunch of, I guess, hippie types would come down here and uh, apparently do drugs, soak in the water. Um, and then, if I remember correctly, maybe, you know, 80s or so, 80s, maybe early 90s, uh, this was actually con converted into a resort. So you have like full on swimming pools here, I think, uh, a number of other things. But apparently there was some dispute between the property owner and, uh, you know, Caltrans uh, associated with some of the removal of certain trees, I guess, for the Ortega Highway. So um, it got shut down. Uh, unfortunately and now it's part of the ronald w casper wilderness park so you know you can hike to these uh from the uh, the wilderness park but you're not supposed to park on the hot springs road a little further down that way so you know people do trespass and people do soak in these um, i'm not going to do that now you know but uh, people do it uh, you know especially last time i saw underwear and uh, ring here but anyways they're cool cool little springs I love these pools, you know, uh, very cool to see. This is my second time here, and I did come in the winter, uh, December of uh, 2023. And I remember the water being higher and the pools being deeper, including some of the ones up there. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, still pretty neat. Uh, happy I came back to get some photographs. And uh, this is a good reminder to y'all who take pictures, uh, save your photographs, because I think I only saved uh, one photograph of the springs, and now I had to return and during a heat wave in the summer to get a bunch of photos. <laughs>